This is our Christmas border mould and I'm going to show you how to use it. Just put some cornflour in, tap that out. I've rolled a sausage of sugar paste. This was kneaded first to make it pliable. I'm just pushing in to the mould. Work along to get up to the top, push between two fingers and then down. Keep it level with the back of the mould and don't let it go over the edges because you would see that when the paste comes out of the mould. There's seven little figures on this mould so you can use it as I am to make the whole border or you can mould individually for them to be used on top of cupcakes for Christmas or you can decorate a cake with just certain pieces, whatever you want to do. So we're nearly there. If there's excess paste at the end, all you need to do is get a knife and trim off like this. All the instructions do have the exact weight paste that you need to use with your mould. That's ready to come out now. There's nothing coming over the edges, so just turn the mould over, bend back, run your thumb along, and there it is out. If there's anything showing, just use a Dresden tool to push the paste in so you can't see it. I'm going to place that onto white kitchen paper. I know it'll be difficult to see, but it's just better for dusting the colours on. I'm going to do the red first. Rub it really well into your kitchen paper and just dust onto the figures. So I've got Santa here. I'm doing it very, very quickly onto his hat, his other arm. We've got a bow on the garland here, so. I'm going to do that in red. You could do it in silver or gold, which would look nice. Just a little bit more red. And Rudolph's nose. Now we'll get the green. Again, rub it in really well into your paper because there's nothing worse than having too much on your brush and it going where you don't want it to. As you start to brush, it sort of flicks off onto the piece next to it where you don't want it. Get all those leaves on the wreath and then the tree. A little bit more. You could do the tree with just a little touch of green at the bottom and leave some white at the top if you want to do or pipe some royal icing on roughly for some snow. I'm just going to do now the snowman's scarf. These colours are all from rainbow dusts. Across his hat. And then Rudolph, I'm going to rub some brown in. Because I'm doing this very quickly, I'm just going to do them all in one colour. But if you've got more time, or you want him to look better than this, he does look good if you can do his antlers and hooves, antlers and hooves a darker brown. A little bit more. I'm going back to the green, I've just realised I want to do Santa's little mittens there in green. Then we've got a nice skin colour called Salmon to dust Santa's face and the angel's face. It's a nice pale, very pale peachy colour so it works well dusting the skin. So we also need a little bit of black. Be very very careful obviously with the black. Just to do Santa's boots. I'm being so careful I haven't quite got enough on my brush there so 
Let's get a little bit more. And just finish off his boots there. I'm going to dust the angel's hair with some brown powder. Be very careful not to get it onto her face. And then I want to paint or dust the angel's wings silver. And a halo. And then the star at the top of the tree. next thing to do is put some white pearl over the figures. You might not want to do all of them, it's up to you how you want to do it. Just do the most important ones first, the angel and the snowman and then I like to just put a little over the others not too much. It just, I think it always helps if you're not happy with the way you've dusted the figures, it sort of softens up the colours and they do look a lot better with some pearl luster on. I am avoiding Santa's beard and moustache because you obviously you wouldn't want them too shiny. Go over the wreath, the angel has been done and then we just want a little onto the tree. Then to finish off we just want some black onto the snowman's feet, onto his buttons. He can have an orange nose. Then I've got some black paste colour. It has to be quite a soft black paste. Just put a tiny little dot of the black colour on and dot in the eyes on the angel, the snowman, Santa and Rudolph. Then that is ready to go onto a board. I've got a board that I iced earlier. Some royal icing in a bag. So I'm just going to attach them along here. And then pipe some snow if you want to. And put some snow underneath. I'm just going to pipe that on very roughly. Then use a knife to spread it out. And then you can finish that off with some magic sparkles. These are just as you buy them, they haven't been ground finer. And that's your Christmas border.